Are we good already? Ito na ba yun? Final na to? Kindly send me a thumbs up if okay na. If pwede na ako mag-start. Shall we start? Hi everyone! Are we good? Wala akong nakikita. Go signal. Waiting for a go signal. Okay na tayo? Start na po ba tayo? I'm looking for a go signal. Is my voice clear? Naririnig ng lahat? Pwede na tayong mag-start? Yes or no? Wala akong makita. Are we gonna start already? Yes? No? Yes? No? Hello? Hi everyone! Okay, thank you, Pastor Ruth. So, good to go. So, sana tuloy-tuloy na to, Pastor Melan and Pastor Ruth. Yes, so, before I would really... Okay, okay, Pastor So, before I would start, I would like to introduce myself again and again, and hopefully this will be the last. Kasi kanina pa nag-lalag yung net, at saka siguro baka dahil sa iWatch ko. So, sorry sa lahat. Sorry for all who are there nga nakikinig na medyo on and off tayo. But, praise God ngayon, tuloy-tuloy na talaga to. Thank you, Jesus. So, I am Alana Maris Gabriente Micabalo. I am already married. I am 27 years old and I am a registered nurse by profession. But when I earned my license, um, I was only 20 years old then. So, I cannot really get my PRC license, my card, because only 21 years old and above could get that license. So I waited for about almost a year before I can get that license. So before I work at the hospital, I didn't want to just stay at home and do nothing. So I did USANA Health Sciences. Um, it's a multi-level national company that I did wherein it is in line with my profession because I can explain the products and I'm also the product of that product. And up to now, I'm still using that product, but I'm not anymore doing the, the business opportunity. And after that, when, unfortunately, because of Yolanda, I decided to stop, to stop um, pushing the business because for me, it's a calling. Since I'm already a registered nurse, um, I need to work in a hospital. So, parang yun yung kinatok yung puso ko ni God na, Hey, Alena, parang puro ka na ano, gawa-gawa ng pera, um, busy sa pera, um, making money. Maybe it's about time to serve others, to serve patients who really need your care, who really need your service in terms of care as a nurse. So, I did that. So, that's why napunta ako dito sa Cagayan de Oro after Yolanda. But before that, I worked first at Save the Children International. It's a non-government organization and whereas it aims to help those who are yung mga nasalanta ng bagyo um, for recovery purposes. And yung talagang focus namin is yung mga bata kasi Save the Children yun. Then, yun, so fast forward. Yun, dito ko na base ngayon sa Cagayan de Oro. Dito ko na meet yung husband ko. And I'm also a mom of twins ngayon. Um, I got married at the age of 22, and it was year 2015 then. Then, the year after, doon ako nagka-anak ng twins. So, hindi lang isa, dalawa talaga yung blessing ni God. So, boy and girl. So, yung name niya is Nico and C. Then, I also work here in the hospital here in Cagayan de Oro, but only for um few months, only five months. So, yun. So, 
currently, I am not working in the hospital. I am working for my family in our family business. And I am, if before I was serving other people regarding health, now I am still abused with my family. So primary health care with my family, with my children, I am nursing my twins. So a bit of hands-on mom ako, but at the same time, I'm working for the family. Um, I can go at home if there is a problem or anything emergency, but also I am working for our family business. So good. And my topic for today is quick tips on raising healthy kids. So, paano nga ba? Paano tayo mag-raise ng healthy kids? So, grabe no, yung opportunity ngayon. Sobra akong na-bless talaga kasi before when I was doing the USANA Health Sciences, I am presenting about health, like in the hospital, I can do that. I can really do that. But now, my confidence is not really from me, especially that I already know who our one true God is. And talagang super exciting is share yung God's goodness with our lives. So before that, before we go on that topic with God's, um, how God turned my life 360 degrees. So I have to put emphasis first with raising healthy kids. So thank you very sisterhood for having me here. Um, thank you that I can feel that her sisterhood is really um, a big help for the women out there either single, single blessedness, either married, um, about to get married, maybe not now because of our environment today because of COVID-19. So probably next year there will be many ano, in line or nakalist na for wedding. So ngayon, um, at least you are getting prepared for it and you have, gonna, um, like, you have a little background regarding raising healthy kids. So, thank you that in her sisterhood, I really feel honored, empowered, and refined with God's love endowed, being, endowed or bestowed upon me. So, first, I am given um, four topics regarding this one by Pastor Ruth. So, first, it's all about healthy eating habits for kids. So, usually, about healthy eating habits, um, I am not really focused with the do's for children. Because as moms, I know that we all know what are the healthy foods that is being served or that is that we would like to serve for our kids. Pero yung mga bawal kasi, mas madami kasi yung bawal talaga kumpara sa healthy foods. Then mas marami masarap sa bawal just like junk foods to name it, yung sweets. So dun talaga ako focus yung mga bawal kasi... Just like me, I'm working also, and I'm not really staying at home like 24-7, taking care and watching over my kids. Um, I am really putting emphasis sa mga bawal. For example, bawal chocolates, bawal ice cream, um, bawal yung mga junk foods. Why? Kasi ito yung reasons na yung bata more likely to have um, cough, cold, fever, UTI because of the unhealthy foods. So talaga, yung bawal talaga first. And then, makikita kasi yung healthy foods by introducing it to them. Then, one more thing regarding about the nutrition of the children. Um, as moms, we really have to do our research how to raise our children to become healthy. So, just like for example, the first five years of life of our children is the most crucial part. So, we should be there um, physically, mentally, socially, and emotionally as well. Um, for example, um, we are introducing them from infant, from infanthood up to the present. Um, we should start um, little steps in introducing the food. So first, uh, more on liquid part, um, pulverized or shake. So you can do that, like you can put malunggay, yes, five years. So you can put on malunggay, mang, um, fruits, or like potatoes and carrots, then rice. Then you can blend it in the blender. So so it is more, I know, 
mas accessible pa yun for the baby, mas makakain pa nila yun. Up to the point na when they're growing up, slowly introducing them the solid foods. So, as for me talaga, yung important ko is with my twins, yung cuff and goals talaga because they are prone to most, most especially my, ano, my son, Nico. Because he is prone to cuff and goals. Usually, yung girl, yung twin niya, twin sister niya, nakakawa na lang. So, siya talaga yung prone. Maybe because mamaya i-topic natin bakit prone siya to cough. So, ano talaga? Cough, cold, and constipation. So, what I do is always high-fiber diet like prunes, juice, or fruit. You can give that to your children, most especially when they're already two years and up. Kasi yung honey, just like honey, Usually, hindi ako nag-introduce ng honey at early age. Bakit? Because merong ano, research doon na you cannot give, you cannot introduce honey to children less than two years old because probably baka toxic pa yon, baka raw yung honey, bawal sa kanila, ganyan. So, may mga, ano, may mga situations na ganun. So, kaya ako na binibigay kung talagang pwede na talaga. So, juice. Fresh fruits, organic, anything organic, or mas maganda talaga fruits, tapos kayo na lang yung mag-blender. So, yun. Then, of course, for fun time, since they're already four years old, I am giving them chocolates, ice cream. Only like, sell them only like once a month, twice a month, only that. So, second, our second topic is tips to increase your child's appetite. So, for my part, I am really a conservative mom. So, when I am introducing new foods to my children, um, I have to give it bit by bit. And I have to, to make sure that there is no allergic reaction with every new food that I am introducing to them. Um, just like, for example, if you want to let them try with soya, soya milk. So let's say when your children is constipated, so you wanted to try soya milk instead of those that are dairy products. So... For Nico, may allergic reaction talaga. Whereas for Nisi, wala. So, trial and error lang talaga. Up to the point na, for example, for instance, ngayon, trinay niyo yung new food, tapos may allergic reaction. So, pwede, stop niyo muna. Then, like after a month or a year, pwede introduce niyo naman ulit. Just like my twins, yung egg first time. Kasi yung, sabi ni Doc, sa hypoallergenic diet, bawal talaga yung egg. So, I started introducing them yung egg once two years old na sila. Then, nakita ko na may rashes pa. Um, maliliit na rashes. So, I stopped. And then now, binalik ko na ulit pag-introduce by at the age of three years old. Then, ngayon, four na sila. So, yun. Okay na yung egg. Nakakain na nila so far. Pati yung egg yolk, okay na. Wala nang allergic reaction. Either probiotic yung egg or hindi. So far, nakita ko naman na walang allergic reaction. So, we just have to be sure nga yung allergic reaction is hindi siya ano, hindi siya fatal. Let's say may rashes lang. Kasi yung delikado, kung yung airway natin, mabarado na. Like, mahirapan maghinga, like, magka-fever. So, yun. You can, ano na, you can go to the doctor na if needed talaga. So, you have to try variety of foods, trial and error. Then, Yun, I also give um, some lollipops, marshmallows, jelly ace, bonus na yun for my kids. So, seldom lang talaga. Para din, ma-try nila and para hindi rin sila parang, oy, ano ba yun? Ano yung, ano yung lollipop? Ano yung marshmallow? So that they are oriented with other foods, either bad or healthy foods. At least they get to know what to choose, which is bad food. Like, mommy, I like, mommy, I like milk, I like lechon. Nico, you cannot eat that one because... Um, magko-constipate ka. You can eat but only a little, then more water. So, so they know. They know the consequence. Yun lang talaga yung, ano, yung important. Um, we need to explain to our children bakit bawal. Hindi up to the point lang na bawal yan, then galit ka na. So, as moms talaga, yung health education or anything na kung ano yung pinagbabawal natin sa kanila, they need to know why. So, we can start it now. Even like toddlerhood pa lang, from 3 years old like that, you can talk to your children already. Kasi mas maganda at, at ano, like younger age pa talaga, up to the point na mapapatis nila. 
as they grow older. So yung vitamins naman, I am also introducing Yusana. There is Yusanimals for child, also gummies, those high fiber gummies that will promote um, the children to have ano, easy digestion, um, as well as probiotics like probiberries. It is also available. So you can try that one. And for my twins, um, I'm not really I'm not really introducing them to the syrup syrup kind of vitamins. Only gummies. Why? Because it triggers their calf attacks. Especially Nico. Nico is very sensitive. Um mabilis siya magkaubong, mabilis siya magkasipon, marami siyang ano, um, allergens. So, yung cost ng allergies niya, marami talaga. So, I'm very careful with it. So, para sa mga mami dyan na allergic yung kids, you can try gummies. Kasi, kailangan din nila ng vitamins so that they can fight off infection. Hindi tayo mabilis magka-infection. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon because of COVID. We, we should be very careful. Pero, wag naman yung madami tayong pinapainom. If we're giving them vitamin C, isang vitamin C lang, then isang multivitamins. You can find that in the ano, market. Madaming available dyan. And when it comes to milk, I'm giving them Pedja Sure Plus. For my girl, since okay siya, hindi siya nagko-constipate talaga, easy yung bagal movement niya, um, I'm giving Pedja Sure Plus alone. But for Nico, I am giving Pedja Sure Plus only a scoop of it. Then more of, I'm, um, I'm mixing ano, hip organic. So para talaga to sa mga mommies, um, I'm really concerned para sa mga mommies na may mga babies who who are constipated, who doesn't like to drink water a lot. Then ito pala, one of the one of the tips para ma-increase yung appetite ng kids natin. Um kahit hindi sila pala inom ng milk, um we can introduce them little by little. Kung hindi naman nila gusto yung zip or hindi nila parang hindi sila masyado nagde-dede sa ano, hindi sila masyado na gagamit ng feeding bottle, we can introduce them when they are awake, we can use um syringes. You buy yung syringes. You just have to take the ano, yung needle kasi ano yun, sharps. Um delikado yun sa kids. So, we can use the syringe then ano, let's give them water like 10 ml per si- per syringe. Little by little, pero frequent. Small frequent feelings for our children kasi important yun. Then later on, makaka-adjust yung body nila na madami yung naiinom nila up to the point na yung hindi masyadong, yung skinny na bata, medyo magkakalaman din. Then yung pressure plus, talagang maasahan siya. And also for Nico, hindi ko siya na-stop yung pressure plus. Why? Kasi hindi siya makainom ng cherry fur kasi nga syrup yun, uubuhin siya. So, I'm giving pressure plus para sa growth factor niya para mas ano mas mataas siya mas tatangkad pa siya kasi yung first 5 years talaga nila or first 3 years when it comes to their height ano yun talaga yung nutrition nila very crucial talaga yun so mahirap na kung underweight or overweight so yung titingnan talaga natin is yung height ng bata and so i'm moving with the third topic um, helping your child who is overweight. So, being overweight, it affects child's physical health talaga. Kaya nga si Nico, before, Nico kasi, when, when they were born, Nico was only 2.3 kilograms. He was way um, smaller than Missy. Missy, my little girl, he, she weighs that time um, 2.5 kilograms. But then, later on, when they were already um, drinking milk. Um, syempre kasi mas mabilis yung kain at saka inom ng gatas pag lalaki talaga. So talagang lumaki talaga si Nico because of Pedja Sure Plus din kasi nakakapagpataba talaga yun ng bata yung Pedja Sure Plus na milk. So yung ginawa ko talaga is imagine that time mga 3 years old si Nico kasi nag 4 years old ang sila by March, 12, March 18. So during the time na 3 years old pa si Nico that time, um, yung weight niya is 25 kilograms. So imagine, only 3 years old kid and then ano siya, 25. So yung weight niya talaga is pang 7 years old. So every time na pumupunta kami ng hospital, yung other parents, sasabihin nila na parang hindi siya 3 years old because of his weight and his height. 
So yun, yung ginawa ko talaga, nag-trim down ako sa kanya ng milk. Kasi milk talaga yung pinakalove na yung Peja Sure Love. Na love niya talaga yun. Then, I also tried the taste of Peja Sure. Talaga ang ano siya, for me, matamis talaga siya then concentrated. So, kaya nag-trim down ako from, for example, if he's drinking, like he's asking now for one bottle, then two more, another two more. Usually, you will add another two more. Like, mommy, another milk, mommy. Um, yummy milk, mommy, please. So, I am trimming it down to one or until two. I have ano, restrictions. And then, I am mixing it already with, nasabi ko na kanina, with hip organic. So, yun. Kasi, ano, I am also educating Nico that one of the reasons then na nagko-constipate siya because of too much milk. So, yun. Naintindihan niya naman. So, nag-cream down talaga siya. So, from 25 that time, ngayon, nasa 20 na lang siya. And ngayon, hindi na rin, ano, parating prone to cough and cold si Nico. Yung nakaka-fight na siya, mas na-strengthen na yung immune system niya. Kasi nga, hindi na siya malaki. Uh, mas nakakapag-exercise na siya. Kasi, kaya niya nang dalhin yung katawan niya. And, at the same time, being overweight talaga, even at an early age, like 3 or 4 years old, since their cognitive learning is already developing, syempre, if maririnig mo na, like, you are, ano, you are big Nico. Um, Kahit hindi naman yung nagaling sa parents nila, if they will hear it from their playmates, it can also somehow lessen their self-esteem and confidence. Kasi nga, si Nico, Nico said, Nico, ay, may tumawa kasi, okay, balik tayo. So, Nico is telling me na, Mommy, am I big, Mommy? So, syempre, I will tell, tell him the truth. Ha? Yes, you are big, but you are handsome. Okay, mommy. But now, Nico's already asking again. Nico will say, Mommy, am I small? And I'll yeah, you're smaller now and it's nice. You can play, you can run, whatever you like, whenever you like. So, Nico's happy. So, makikita mo talaga sa bata, when you're talking to your child, makikita mo talaga na at their early age, may effect talaga kung ano yung sinasabi ng, uh, ng, ano, ng ibang tao. Just like yung tambok it can lessen talaga their self-esteem. So, help your child even at an early age to trim down. Kasi oo nga, cute kung mataba sila. Oo, malaki yung cheekbone nila, ganun. Pero dapat limit din. Kasi para hindi masanay yung bata sa, ano niya, yung sa metabolism niya, yung sa movement niya, para hindi rin siya tama rin na maglaro or into sports. And then, dapat din, Alam natin yung food intake ng children natin. Diyan din ako pinaka-strict kasi kahit snacks nila or kahit anong food intake na ibibigay sa kanila, dapat alam ko. So, yung helper namin, yung tagabantay ng kids ko, talagang, ano, kung ano lang binigay ko before I go to, I go here in the office, talagang budgeted yun. Kasi yung storage box ko, wala sa ref, wala sa ref namin. Nasa room talaga namin. Sa room namin ng husband ko. Talagang tinatago ko yun. Kasi nga, ano siya, like, limit yung sweets. Pero na-enjoy naman nila. So, yun lang. Kailangan restricted talaga, restricted talaga siya. Kasi kung ibigay niyo lang sa nagbabantay sa kanila at hindi niyo nakikita, iba kasi yun. Hindi sila parang, hindi sila tough of saying no. No, stop that because you're eating too much. Hindi talaga. And nakikita ko naman, children, my children are learning. Um, nabibuild up din yung discipline sa kanila. When to say yes, when to say no. But then, pag may mga bawal then we don't have to scare them. Like, sige ka, pangit ka. Pag tumaba ka, pangit ka. Sige ka, pag kumain ka ng madami, um, makukonstipate ka, masakit, magpupo. Hindi ganun. Kasi yung psychological ano naman, effect sa kanila, hindi maganda. So baka naman, hindi na sila kumain forever. Kasi negative na yung sinabi regarding that. So, ano lang talaga, balance lang siya with, ano, wisdom talaga ni Lord. Kasi si Lord din yung nagbibigay sa atin na yung mother instincts natin, siya talaga yung lahat-lahat. Everything is from Him. So, yun, yun naman yung diet plan ko. More on high fiber diet, then protein, para din sa ano, to fight off infection. Then fish talaga. Then always malunggay, carrots for the eyes then Then, for the last part, kids and their physical activity. So, regarding their physical activity, most especially ngayon, dahil 
COVID-19 nga. So, some of us will be ano, paranoid na not to let our children go outside. Pero kung meron naman tayong lawn and then hindi pa naman talaga labas ng bahay, we can allow them to, of course, to just play for a while, like for an hour, especially sunlight, every morning, walking, biking, outside. So, yun din, ginagawa ko yun for my kids. And then, even we, when the weather is not good, I am providing that I am providing them toys like, for example, small bikes for indoors, um, from manual toy car riding up to the point na lumalaki na sila, palaki-laki na bike. Then, ngayon naman, na-adding sila sa ano, kick scooter naman yung gamit nila ngayon. Kasi, kung usually kasi kung wala silang activity, nasa indoor lang sila, more on playing toy cars, playing their toys, dollhouse, or just screen time. Mas mataas yung screen time nila. So, bawal din yun. So, dapat 1 to 2 hours lang yung screen time. Then, kung wala din silang activity, masyado na physical activity inside the house, pwede rin maano, magkoconstipate din si Nico. Again, constipated na naman si Nico because nga, less than, parang sedentary lifestyle na lang. Parang ganun, kasi nasa bahay. So, kaya, nagbibigay ako ng kick scooter. Kasi para nasa loob ng bahay, makakapaglaro pa din sila. Yung physical activity activity nila, mapropromote pa din. And then, one of our favorite activities also is worshiping the Lord through dancing and singing. Nico's favorite um, worship song is Every Praise. And then, while Nisi, there are many songs that Nisi can sing, but she really loves um, Jesus Loves Me. So, yun. Um, at an early age, dapat yung music is also introduced introduced already to them worshiping the Lord who is Lord, who is Jesus in our life so that's why and then also I'm also giving them bedtime stories instead of of longing their screen time at home so for example um, I'm also giving them um, I'm also educating them and letting them know and be informed regarding current events that is helpful to them at their age. Just like, for example, before about the volcanic eruption, and then now about COVID-19. So they know why they have to stay at home. They know why they cannot go to the mall. They know why they cannot go to the playground. So at first, it's like they were already tired of waiting when to go back to the mall. But now, they already know that it is more dangerous to go outside because of COVID. Because they know that they will have cough and their lungs will be affected. So just ano, um, just little background for your child. As long as they can understand it. You can do it playing one term or pwede nyo, kan, pwede nyo i, parang ipaintindi sa kanila sa level nila. Kung paano nila ma, para sa inyo maintindihan ng anak nyo. So pwede nyo yung gawin. So hindi pwede na parang i-underestimate natin na ay they will not know about COVID naman kasi, kasi ano yun. Um, crucial yun, baka matakot lang sila, baka ma-stress sila, ganyan. So, no. So, build up pa rin ng positive, ano, um, positivity in every situation. Though, nandyan yung danger side, but always tell them na, Jesus is there. You don't have to be, ano, you don't have to be scared because Jesus is there. So, when my children are scared about monster or anything, they will automatic, automatically tell me na, Mommy, Jesus is there. I'm not scared anymore. So, so regarding with the screen time, also I am putting emphasis with the screen time, um, like gadgets, gadgets and watching TV. Um, I would like to inform all the parents that you have to know not only what your children are eating, but you have to know also what your children are watching. Um, also YouTube. Um, when your children are watching YouTube, there will I know. Um, there are apps that will pop out or um, movies, short movies from the YouTube that will pop out that are not likable, that are dangerous. Just like, for example, the granny. The granny, um, there was a time that I was, ano, I was wondering, what is granny? Kasi yung helper namin, tinatakot nila yung bata with granny. Tapos natatakot naman sila. Then nakita ko yun sa YouTube na may granny, then yung parang, Zombie-zombie, pinapatay, ganun. May blood na nagsispill out. So, ano siya, parang violent. Though, cartoon lang siya. We are being deceived with it kasi cartoon lang siya. 
but it's gross to look at na na yung makikita mo is parang patayan zombies then may mga blood na nagsispill out diyan sa sa ano diyan sa floor so you have to tell your children not to watch that one because it is not godly um that is not how jesus is wanted us to think about jesus wanted us ano to be involved with godly things like singing songs for him so ganun So, so far, yung mga bata, naintindihan naman nila. Kasi, na-introduce sila sa granny dahil sa gadget. Kasi kung sa TV lang na YouTube, like YouTube Kids, wala talaga doon. Since they know already na it's granny, they can um, they can request, make a request with their head, ano, yaya. Na, I want to watch granny. So, like that. So, saan nila natutunan yun? So, doon sa gadget. Kaya, as much as possible, no to gadgets talaga. Mas safer pa rin yung TV. Kahit na TV, two hours pa rin yung screen time ng bata. And so, what else? What else yung important? So, kung may mga questions kayo, you can also ask some questions. And since yung time natin is masyadong na-consume na talaga dahil sa ano, kasi it's my first time sa live. So, parang nawawala ako kung asan ako pupunta. So, so far with the help, thankful talaga ako with the help of Pastora Melanie and Pastora Ruth na nag-guided talaga ako. And in my first time, my learning talaga. Kasi nga, hindi rin ako teki as a mom. So, um, I would like to put emphasis about sa ano talaga. So, dito na tayo mag-move. Yung God's goodness in our lives. As a mom, paano ako na-touch? Paano ako na-touch ni God? Kasi regarding sa screen time for our kids, Important talaga yun. Kasi mga a year ago, siguro yun, mga a year ago, yes, when Nico and Nisi were three years old. Pero even before, mga two years old si Nico, nakakalata na namin na yung eyes niya, um, hindi siya coordinated. There are times na yung left eye niya, nandun nakatingin, then yung right eye is parang straight. So hindi siya coordinated, yung isa pa po, straight, yung isa pa punta doon. Pero yung maganda lang sa kanya is nababawi niya kaagad. But then, during that time, um, since I am not um, well knowledgeable and I don't know any doctors talaga, hindi ako familiar sa lahat ng doctors dito sa Cagayan. Kasi nga, I'm not from Cagayan, I'm from Tacloban. So, I'm still um, finding way who to go to. Who, what doctor, what kind of doctor will I be looking for from Nico's eyes? Then, sino yung magaling na doktor? Ganito, ganyan. Kasi, last time, pumunta ako dun sa adult na ano, for eye doctor siya, um, ophthalmologist. Then, hindi talaga siya para dun. Kasi nga, nakapila pa lang ako, mataas na yung pila, then puro mga infants yung kinukuha niya. Kasi, yun yung priority niya. Kasi yung ano, baka may ano daw, like something wrong from the time pa lang na, like inborn daw. So, hindi yun nga, hindi ako nakasingit nun. So, plan din talaga yun ni Lord kasi meron palang magandang doctor na ibibigay niya sa akin. Kasi nga, I'm a very conservative mom then medyo planning then when it comes, though I am a nurse, pero iba talaga when it's, we're talking about our own children. Siyempre, tayo din, affected talaga yun. Directly affected yung emotional natin. Ganun. Then, sino dyan yung mga mommy din na when something goes wrong with their kids, you will try to ask yourself, saan ako nagkulang? Ano kayong ginawa ko? Ano yung hindi ko nagawa for my kids? So, talaga, if there is something that will happen to my kids, yung talagang binabalikan ko, yung sarili ko. It's like parang kinokondem ko yung self ko. I'm looking for flaws, kung ano, saan ako nagkulang, ganun. Pero God is telling us na you are enough. Kaya kita binigyan ng kids, kaya kita binigyan ng twins, because para sa yan. And then, ano, mag-ask lang talaga tayo ng guidance from God. Yun talaga, I am entrusting everything to God. In all my ways, I am, I am acknowledging Him. So, yun pa nga, sabi sa, um, I believe it's in Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6, na we have to acknowledge Him in all our ways. Kahit sa mga questions na tatanungin natin regarding with our kids, dun talaga tayo pupunta kay Lord talaga. So, yun, that time, nakahanap na ako ng eye doctor and to tell you, mga mommies, 
mga mom she's, mga beshies. Ano talaga yun? Yung eye doctor na yun, pediatric ophthalmologist siya. Then at the same time, ano siya, um, surgeon sa eyes. So, yun talaga yung for Nico. Then, from the time na nag-check up si Nico, I learned na meron pala talaga siyang exotropia. Yun yung tawag ng condition sa eyes niya. Then, intermittent exotropia siya kasi hindi lang siya left or right, but both eyes ni Nico. And then, I was saddened when the doctor diagnosed Nico to have exotropia. Kasi nga, Nico's only three years old that time then. I was already, ano, parang fast forward na kaagad yung mind ko. Parang inisip ko, how can Nico parso studying? How can Nico study? How can Nico learn at school if yung eyes niya ganun? So, what are the options? So, yun. Doon na nag-start yung madaming question. Nagpapile up na siya. But then, si Lord kasi, in a click talaga, automatic yun. So, yung mga questions niya na bumabaga na bumabagabag sa mind ko sinagot niya kaagad so during that time when the doctor told me about Nico's eyes sinabi ko na doc what can i do to save the eyes of Nico then umiiyak-iyak na ako noon then sabi niya you listen the screen time sa bata kasi their eyes will be very tired and then hindi rin yun maganda sa ano nila sa learning nila Kaya daw madaming bata na nagiging autistic because of, ano, too much screen time. Kasi nga, bawal pa. At their very young age, hindi pa pwede talaga yung mga TV, YouTube, and everything. Ganon. So, yun. So, make the long story short, lahat ng yun, sinagot ka agad ni Lord. Kasi nga, yung doctor na umahawak kay Nico, they have the same eye problem. So, so they have the same eye problem. So, yung time na yun na parang for me as a mom, nawasak ka agad yung parang, yung parang hopeless ako for Nico. Naiiyak na talaga ako kay Doc, Doc, what to do, Doc? Ano ba yung nagawa ko, Doc? Bakit na ganun? I want, I want the best for my kids, Doc. So, sabi ni Doc, don't worry. Actually, I also have exotropia. So, dun ako, dun talaga ako natawa na parang, grabe ka talaga, Lord. So, I am, parang hinatid talaga ako ni Lord kung kaninong doctor ako pupunta na mako-comfort ako kaagad na hindi ako magpa-problem, hindi ako yung anxiety ko, hindi tataas. So yun, sabi sabi ko nga, "Doc, how did you survive exotropia, doc?" Then, bakit ano, sabi kasi ni Doc that time, sabi niya na ako nga 50 years old na ako na operahan. Sabi ko, "Bakit, doc? Bakit ganon? What took you so long na nag-opera ka, nagpa-opera ka ng mata, 50 years old na?" Sabi niya, Kasi nga, I am the first eye surgeon in Luzon, in Visayas and Mindanao. So, from that time, Cebu pa siya. Then ngayon, nasa, ano na siya, nasa Cagayan de Oro. So, I am really thankful that time. Kasi yung answer nandyan na sa harap ko. Um, si Doc, that time is, ano, is a living testimony sa love ni God. Kasi nga, yung hope talaga is parang binigay ka agad ni Lord sa akin. Lahat ng mga questions ko. nasagot. Kasi nga, kung nakaya ni Lord, makakaya din ni Nico. Kasi nga, hindi yun ibibigay ni Lord kung hindi natin makakaya. Hindi namin makakaya. Malagpasan yun. So, I am only living now with high hopes na si Nico, he will just outlive through time and as si age, mawawala yung exotropia niya. Kasi walang ano, walang alternative for Nico. Kung ma-worsen talaga, maybe surgery din yung probably na may bigay sa kanya. But, yun nga, sabi nga ni Doc, bata pa si Nico, then, probably, he can outlive that. So, I am really praying to God na sana nga, he will outlive that. So, yun, yun talagang pinangahawakan ko, yung hope na binibigay ni God. So, so yung pagiging, yung anxiety ko, yung pagiging paranoid ko, so, nanalesen na siya. Though, nakikita ko pa yung symptoms kay Nico, pero yung comforting words ni God, anjan talaga palagi. So, kung may mga problems tayo, when we are at our, when we are at our weakest, and then yung ch- children pa natin yung, ano, yung may sakit, may kung ano-anong illness dyan na hindi natin alam, wag muna tayo mag-conclude or kung ano-ano na mag-problem tayo. So, ano lang tayo, punta lang tayo kay Lord, mag-ask lang tayo ng guidance sa Kanya na lahat ng ibigay niya is from him talaga.
na makakabuti sa anak natin. So, yung trust natin, yung kids natin, to the Lord. Then, I am also, ano, since gamit na gamit na talaga to, yung Proverbs 22.6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, yung word talaga ni God, little by little, introduce talaga natin sa kids natin. So, yun. So, up to now, ano lang, prayers talaga. More on prayers talaga. Fervent prayers, firm prayers, and consistent, consistently asking the Lord for guidance. And that we will outlive every, kahit anong weakness dyan, kahit anong storm yung ibinigay sa atin ni Lord. Then, one, um, one last thing yung sa ano din, I wanted to share sa um, sa word ni God, si Panaya, chapter 3, verse 17. Sabi nga niya, For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With His love, He will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. So kahit anong, anong dumating sa atin, huwag natin pangunahan ng takot. Kasi yung love ni God, it will outweigh everything, every negative thing na pinapasok natin sa mind natin, sa heart natin, mawawala lahat yun because of God's love, of God's goodness in our lives. So, most especially with the COVID-19 pandemic scare currently, so, wag tayo magpadala dun. Ano, trust pa din kay, Larry, kay Lord, dun pa din tayo magtiwala sa kanya ng buong puso natin. Then, as we go to Isaiah chapter 49:15, sabi pa nga, sabi pa nga sa sa ano sa pangalan ni God yung Emmanuel, God with us. So nasa atin, nasa atin Jesus is living among us. So kung tayo as mothers, hindi nga natin maiwan-iwan yung anak natin when we are going to work from the moment we step out from our home going to the work, yung iniisip na kaagad natin, yung anak natin. We are leaving a part of our body at home, though we are working outside or away from home. So, kung yun nga, we are giving pleasure to be with our children, how much more God giving pleasure to us whom we are His children. So, ganun yung love ni God sa atin. So, kung yung tayo nga as parents ganun, Siya din, ganun sa atin. That's why Emmanuel, God with us. He is with us. He is living among us. So in Isaiah 49, in Isaiah chapter 49, 15, on the contrary naman, para sa mga parents na pwede tayong magsabi na unwanted pregnancy or bakit may mga parents ba na ganun na kaya lang nilang maiwan yung children nila? Na hindi, they're not looking for the health of their children. Pagbabayaan lang nila. Meron bang ganun? So sabi dito, can a woman forget her nursing child? Forget her nursing child and have no compassion in the son of her womb? Even this, forget, but I will not forget you. So Jesus will never forget us. The Lord Almighty will never forget us. So kung may times pa man na yung mga parents natin, makalimutan tayo or aabot sa point na intentionally. So, sinabi na dyan ng Panginoon na I will not forget you. So, ganun, ganun kalaki ng love ni Lord para sa atin. So, yung nagkakal, nagpapakalma talaga sa atin ngayon sa situation na to is from the Lord. Lahat talaga, yung source is from the Lord. So, sabi pa nga ni Pastor Mandy um, last time in our, ano, during our Sunday worship, Sabi niya na yung title niya nun sa worship is The Come of Christ. So doon ko na-relate din yung sa Mark chapter 441. Yung time na nasa boat sila, si Jesus, together with his disciples. Na yung disciples niya, nag na sila na baka lumubog daw, sobrang lakas ng hangin, yung alon, mataas, and it's about to get inside the boat, it's feeling the boat. Then they were worried because... Jesus was just sleeping, sternly sleeping. So they woke up Jesus. But then Jesus asked them, Don't you have any faith? So ganun yung tinanong niya. Then, sa Mark chapter 4.41, sinabi dun, They became very much afraid and said to another, Who then is this 
that even the wind and the sea obey him. So yun, yung mga tao dun, yung reason kasi ni God, bakit tinatapon niya, bakit may mga storms na padating sa life natin, just like yung pandemic scare, yung COVID-19, bakit nararanasan natin yan ngayon? Jesus is throwing us storm with the purpose of yung agenda niya is yung awe natin, yung astonishment natin sa kanya, yung amazement natin sa kanya, maibalik yun. Yung purpose natin to glorify God in our lives. So, kaya ganun. Kaya may mga storms sa papadating sa life natin as a mom, as a woman. So, normal lang yun. But God is always there. He will never forsake us. He will never abandon us. So, yun. So, hopefully, I can be of help with God's message today. Um, thank you, Her Sisterhood, for everything, for the opportunity that you have given me today, and for teaching me na makapag-live in your, ano, Her Sisterhood. I am really, ano, I really appreciated it kahit first time ko pa. So, maraming salamat talaga, Pastora Melan, for everything. So, if you have questions, mga mamshis, regarding kids, you can, ano, you can ask questions or you can directly, um, ask me through Facebook also. So, thank you so much. And, yun, yun yung share ko regarding health and nutrition as a, as a mommy nurse. Thank you. So, thank you, her sister. Are we done? Are we good? So, thank you so much for the wonder. So, yes, so, wala siya, nawala siya, na-stack up siya, na-stack up siya, okay? So, thank you so much for sisterhood, for, um, her sisterhood, for, um, honored, empowered, and refined. Thank you for 
making this live show, this is really a big help um, for us women. And I will continue supporting this her sisterhood. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to Pastora Milan. God bless sa inyong lahat dyan, to Pastora Ruth. Thank you for the patience and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. So, magkikita-kita din tayo at the right time kung okay nang lumabas. So, soon, in God's time. We miss you all there. Thank you so much, JTG, her sisters, good. From JOL Central Church. Thank you. From Cagayan to Manila with so much love. God bless.